What's up everyone and welcome back to the S3 Power Sports Shop where today we just rolled in a Can-Am Defender. My boy Manny Fresh is going to show you how to change the belt on this bad boy and give you those tips and tricks on how to get it done. All right guys, so today I'm gonna to walk you through changing a belt on a Can-Am Defender. Now all Defender models should come with a standard tool kit. What they may not come with is your secondary compression tool that some people don't know about. If you don't have one of those, you can pick it up from your dealer or your favorite parts supplier. So you can get this done with basic hand tools, but since we're in a nice shop today, we're gonna to use a lift, use our power tools like our impacts and our nut drivers and some T30s to make things easier. Whether you have a high mileage vehicle, just unloading it off the trailer, you may have a blown belt. So we're gonna show you how to get it done. So the basics of changing the belt on this Defender is gonna be the same for most all models. What is important is that you have the right part number for your specific model. To get into here, we're just gonna go ahead and lift the bed to give us more room, take a panel out of our way so we can show you guys what's going on, and we'll get this job started. So you don't have to pull the wheel and tire off, but I'm a big guy and I like the space. And it's also gonna give us a chance to show you better what's going on inside there. So in your supply toolkit, you're gonna to have a Torx 30, that's used to get all the Torx bolts loose from around the clutch cover. Since we're in the shop, we're gonna go ahead and use our impact today. So even though we're using power tools, every now and then you still gotta resort down to the dinosaur days and use the old manual hand tools. So these guys at the shop got sticky fingers, especially with my 10 millimeter, but I got a trick to stash it away where they can't find it. So there's roughly 11 torque screws around this clutch cover. Once you get them all off, even though it might be time consuming, you can go ahead and get to your belt. Now that we got the cover off, we can go ahead and look at our clutches. The front clutch is your primary, also known as the drive clutch. The rear of the vehicle is your secondary or driven clutch. For the secondary, we need to open it up to get the belt out or put a new one in. That's where this guy comes in. This is your secondary tool. It's two piece tool. What we're gonna do is screw in the screw on the end of it thread it on in there, and then we're gonna take our threaded in and thread it into the front side of the secondary. One thing to keep in mind when you're in here, you wanna make sure you empty out the exhaust ports and intake ports on the box itself. Make sure you don't have no old belt pieces in there getting in your way or restricting airflow. If you need to get that stuff out, you can use some tools to do that. So when you're screwing this bolt into the helix, it might try to scuff up your surfaces. So we need to put something to protect there. You can use a washer, an old wrench, I'm gonna go ahead and use my bottle opener, stick it in between the surfaces, and that way we can keep them from scuffing up. So with your 13 millimeter end wrench or a 13 millimeter socket, you can go ahead and get on the end of the screw and screw it in with whatever you're gonna to use to protect the surface behind it. So what we're doing here is screwing in the secondary tool, which is gonna open up your sheaves, and that's gonna give you access to your belt coming loose or coming out, or give you access to put it in. So you just wanna tighten it up till it bottoms out. We're gonna to need to rotate the secondary to get the belt off, so you wanna make sure the vehicle's in neutral. That way it gives you free spin to get it off. So to get the belt off, if it's not broke, you're gonna go ahead and pull the top of the belt, come around your secondary sheaves, and then you can pinch down in the middle and come out the bottom side of the clutch cover. Once you get your belt off, you wanna make sure that everything's nice and clean before you put your new one on. So you wanna blow it out in case you have any dust in here, debris. If you did blow a belt, a little bit of scotch bright, you can go ahead and scuff up the surfaces a little bit give them a nice little clean, make sure you don't have no residue or old belt on there, and then you can go ahead and reinstall the new belt. So with your new belt, go ahead and get it out of your package. Now, one thing you wanna pay attention to when you install this thing, these belts are rotation specific. They're marked which direction they want you to go in. The arrow needs to point towards the front of the vehicle or forwards motion before you put it back on. Once you've figured out the direction of the belt, you can go ahead and pinch down in the middle so you can work it around the primary. Once you do that, then we'll bring it around the secondary sheaves and slide it back over. Now you wanna go ahead and pull it all the way back once you get it in there. Start working it around your secondary sheave so it comes around. All right, so once you get your belt on the secondary, now you can go ahead and grab your 13 millimeter wrench or your socket, whichever you're using, and go ahead and back your secondary bolt out. Back your bolt up, you can go ahead and unscrew your tool out of your secondary. Now you wanna rotate the secondary forwards motion so that the belt can rise and seat where it's supposed to be and get all the slack out of it. So that's how you get the belt done. Now all you gotta do is reinstall your cover the same way you took it off. Now do remember that this is a new belt so you need to break it in a little bit, heat cycle it a few times, and then you can go ahead and get back to work. Woo, I'm tired after all that. 
So Manny just walked you through how to change the belt on this Defender. You guys already know what to do. Like this video, and if you want to see some more, go subscribe to our YouTube page and follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and we're going to show you how to get it done. Yeah.